Hi, my name is Quachin C. Bunny. This is my circuit. This circuit's supposed to acquire the sound from a stethoscope, which completes to be a biomedical signal processing system. I'll be explaining the circuit by stages. An additional 1 microfarad capacitor is added to filter the power supply, hence reducing noise from the output. In stage 1, ICA1 ICTL072 is a dual low noise GFET input general purpose operational amplifier. It supplies a voltage gain which is between 10 mV to 1 volt. The subtle shade of the sound can be added or subtracted. Based on this circuit, it is a fixed gain closed loop non inverting operational amplifier. The circuit needs to bring the signal from an electric microphone up to a level suitable for a line input. The leftmost capacitor C1 of 10 microfarad blocks the DC bias voltage from the input. The two 10K resistors form a voltage divider, providing half of the power supply voltage of 4.5 volts, which acts a middle reference to the operational amplifier working at single supply mode. The resistor R2, R3, and capacitor C2, C3 form the band pass filter of 16Hz to 1kHz. The pass band gain using the formula 1 plus 222k over 10k will give us 23. Based on this table, for the amplifying stage 1, we can see that as frequency increases, the gain also increases until its maximum 23. The frequency is at 100 Hz. As the frequency increases above 100 Hz, the gain decreases. Gain at 23 will be equal to around 27 decibels. Based on frequency response curve, the negative 3 decibel line will be 27 minus 3, which gives us 24 decibels. From this line, we can derive the low frequency to be 26 Hz and the high frequency to be 1200 Hz. Thus, the bandwidth will be 1200 minus 26, which gives us 1174 Hz. To set up stage 1, firstly, set power supply DC source to 9 volts and connect to the circuit. Secondly, set the function generator frequency to sine wave 1 kHz and the amplitude to be 200 mV peak to peak. Connect function generator to the input at test point 1. Thirdly, connect oscilloscope channel 1 represented by the green wire at the input side and channel 2 represented by the blue wire to the output of the circuit, test point 2. By pressing channel 1 probe to test point 1, we can see that the input is 4 volts multiplied by 50 mV per division, giving us 200 mV peak to peak. And placing channel probe at test point 2, we can see that the output voltage is 4 volts. For stage 2, it shares the same ICTL072 as the first stage. The 10 microfarad capacitor C4 covers out from the first stage to the next stage, which is a negative feedback loop amplifier. Negative feedback is a process whereby a portion of the output voltage of an amplifier is returned to the input with a phase inversion of 180 degrees out of phase. If any DC input offset or amplified, it will create a larger output offset, pushing the output toward one of the rails and reducing the headroom. C4 passes the signal while blocking the DC signal. Negative feedback also reduces the amplitude and phase errors. Hence, Trimo controls the feedback signal that can reduce the overall gain of the amplifier which can act as a linear amplifier and will not saturate the output voltage. A voltage divider consists of two 10 kilo ohms resistors R9 and R10 are connected to pin 5 of the TL072 IC. It is not only provide the op amp to be working in a single supply mode, but also acts as a level shifter so the output will not be cleared. To set up stage 2, we will put the output of test point 2 to channel 1 and all of the frequency as well as power supply to be left untouched. We will replace the probe of the oscilloscope channel 2 to test point 3. By adjusting the trimmer, the waveform will be amplified and at some point become saturated and be cut off. In stage 3, 
Capacitor C5 will block out DC and allow AC to pass through. A voltage divider consists of R11 and R12 of 10 kilo ohms as has a single supply mode for the second IC TL072. For IC2A, a second TL072 is being used. It is patched as a, as a silent key second order low pass filter. It is made out of two low pass RC network. Capacitor C7 will provide feedback of shaping the response near the edge of the pass band and it allows low frequency to pass through while filtering out the high frequency. Output voltage from IC to A will then pass through capacitor C8 at 10 microfarads to filter out any DC. As the lowest frequency can pass through is 0 Hz, then the band width will be equal to the cutoff frequency given by this equation. Based on this table, we can conclude that frequency is below 500 Hz, filter is at unity gain. But once above 500 Hz, gain and output voltage will begin to drop. Based on the frequency curve, negative 3 dB line will be at negative 3 dB and the high frequency will be at 1000 Hz. Hence, bandwidth will be equal to 1 kHz which is equal to the cutoff frequency. By keeping test point 3 at channel 1, you place channel 2 to test point 4. The frequency is below 500 Hz. The amplifier will be at uni unity gain. It will not be applicable at 1000 Hz and there is a drop of output voltage. The final output will be a sine wave attained without being saturated. It is an audio amplifier that drives a speaker, designed to work in a single supply mode, and it is the only amplifier in a circuit that drives current to the power speaker. C15 filters out high frequency that is above 40 kHz. Without, output will be slightly unstable. C13 will block out DC signal and allow AC signal. The, in the input will go through to trimmer P2. Connect channel 1 to TP4 and channel 2 to test point 5. By adjusting the trimmer, we can adjust the output at test point 5. The final output will be the final sine wave attained without being saturated.